25 lighters on the dresser. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, 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 uh. Let's get it. We're done. D, D, T, D, D. D, D, T, D. I'm good. I'm good. Super, super great. Great, great. I'm glad to have you here. Mm -hmm. We're going to get to know you as an artist and as a person. True, true. Okay. So our first question is, tell us about yourself. Uh, well, I'm Houston, Texas. As she said, my name is Diego. Uh, that's actually my government name, uh, Diego. That I think I'm fourth or fifth generation Diego, mm -hmm. something of the sort. Granddaddy, great granddaddy, father, uncle. Um, been doing music since eight years old, so been doing this a long time, man. Once again, from the greatest city in the world. Houston, so how, long Texas. You, how long you been living in Houston, Texas? Uh, Well, I took about a 10 year hiatus. I lived in Florida for 10 years, so, uh, wow. so I say uh, all my life minus 10 years, so uh, maybe 26 years, yeah. Let me ask you a question about music. Yeah. What first got you into music? Uh, well, typically like anybody else, I ain't gonna say anybody else, but a lot of people, you know, church. Um, church is where everything started. Uh, dad sung in the church. He was a minister of music there uh, over the choir, uh, you know. So it, I really had no choice growing up. That's what you did when you was raised in church. You song in the choir you was music you was singing you was in, in, interacting everything you know so that's where it all started for me in the band wow. true at tsu true did that all being in the music in the band start you from like hey i want to you know pursue this more well uh, absolutely i mean that's kind of how everything starts so uh, you know so my dad put me in the band uh, when I was uh, in third grade, right? So when I was eight years old. So uh, classically trained, uh, Garden Villas Elementary. Yeah, go, go, go. Uh, uh, Garden Villas uh, went to Johnston Middle School. Uh, that's a prominent magnet school, uh, great music school here in Houston. Started high school, was in the band all that time. Got a full scholarship to a couple of colleges, but went to Texas Southern University, yeah. Wow. Ocean of Soul, man. Right, right. Ocean of Soul, I heard that's a great school. Oh, of course, great of course. Great band. Great band, the greatest. Ever in life. Another question: How would okay. you describe the music you typically create? Oh wow! I typically create. I mean, uh, that's that, that's a loaded question because I mean I create a little a little bit of everything. So um, right now I'm really focused on the EDM house and dance traditional house sound. Uh, I've been with uh, my dance music label for about 10 years, and then we've been working together for 10 years under the Carrillo uh, dance music label. So uh, that's really the focus. But I mean, from everything from gospel to R&B to rap, I pretty much do it all. Like my team, we, we, we do it all, so. Okay, so EDM, is it popular here in America? Or is it popular, where is it? Well, I mean, yes, I mean, it's definitely popular here in America. I mean, it's one of the, uh, if I'm at one time the largest genre of music is just not not permanent down south in the United States, but there are areas uh, like Chicago, uh, definitely up north, Baltimore, uh, D.C. in those areas, L.A. Uh, really big overseas, you know, uh, Ibiza and France and Europe. That's house and EDM, uh, and right now it's becoming a, a collective with all genres of music kind of blending. So yeah, it's it's big everywhere, you know. Producer. So it's, it's, it's a Producing, producing music, because I heard you have a lot of music out there that you produce. Yeah, right, right, definitely. Well, so producing, I would say probably along the lines of 14, 15 years in that area. So, yeah, around that amount of time. Produce. Okay. If we work with, all right, well, under the production team, uh, Man Beast Music, uh, well, we have four of us. Um, uh, Chambers, uh, Bailey, and this is my, my family in, in uh, Florida. So, uh, Chambers Bailey, uh, we got uh, V Mock, uh, Nick Toons, 
myself, and at the time we had um, a couple of different members go in and out. Silk, uh, but we worked with everyone from uh, from Plies to Take Dism. Wow, Plies? Yeah, Plies, Take Dism. Um, uh, who else we got in there? Uh, Jeezy. Uh, a lot, a lot of local artists. Um, Day Twenty Six, uh, Brian Angel from Day Twenty Six. Um, I mean, there's some of the, the, the bigger names, but uh, as a matter of fact, we just um, had a placement on Netflix as well too. Uh, it was uh, Trap Beckham and Trina. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. So wow. that uh, kind of been around a little bit, you know. That's good. So now so that now you are an artist, right? Right. And what song you have out now? Uh, the name of the record is called Amazing. So amazing. So amazing. Wow, amazing. Yeah. Tell me about that song. Uh, well, amazing is uh, it's a crossover of um, traditional R and B and house, uh, a little bit down tempo, slower because usually traditional house is somewhere between 122 BPM, 120 to 130. It's around one. 15, 16 range, so it's a little bit down tempo because I wanted to get the R&B feel. Um, a lot of harmonies. So I'm a church boy, so I got to sing a lot of harmonies. So that that is really good. Um, and the the song I wrote about uh, this girl, man, I thought her love was pretty amazing. So uh, something that I, I thought that the world would like. Since you produced, and now you know the artist side as well, what's harder, being an artist or a producer. Oh, absolutely why? artist, man. Absolutely artist. Because I mean, you you on a microscope or everything is up for scrutiny, you know. Producer, I can get a chance to be in my comfort zone and make music and uh, you know, I I can make a hot track and put on put the artist on it trying to make the song and then if it doesn't work, we go on to the next. But now you actually have to put all of yourself in there. And like I said, the world can see everything that you do. Right. Artists, you have to be relevant. You have to be present. Uh, social media, uh, marketing, all of those things have to be, you know, on point. Producing, we, we just have to we gotta make dope records, you know. It, on the artist side, it's, it's really, 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 really much harder. Um, which producer would you like to collaborate with? Oh, it's easy. Easy, man. Timberland. Timberland? Why, Timmy, why is that? Man. Uncle Timmy, man. Well, I mean, to me, and you can go, it's it's so many different producers or great producers. There's a lot of, a lot of them I look up to. Um, Teddy Riley, uh, Rod Templeton. I mean, those guys created this magnificent sound, right? Uh, but for my genre and then the people that I grew up on, Timberland created this distinctive sound that separated him from everybody. What do you feel is the best song you ever produced and why? Uh, my first, uh, I don't want to say it's the best song I ever produced um, because some of the best records that I've, I think I've ever produced were for um, a local artist here, his name is Rob V. Uh, a Latin R&B singer, I think that was some of the, the, the best work, but I would say my first uh, Billboard record was a record called um, Predator for an artist named Jaleesa Velas. Uh, that record did well for a long period of time, maybe like 14, 15 weeks, you know, uh, at the time it came out. Wow. And so that, that was probably the best record out there. We on the show. Your personality, okay. who you are to right, right, the right. listeners. So, uh, if you could date any celebrity, who would it be and why? Michelle Obama. <laughs> Michelle Obama. <laughs> yeah, wow. Okay. Uh, Michelle Obama. Lupita, you know Michelle Obama. I know. Okay. Why is that? Uh, like I said, intellectuals, man. Like, well, first, uh, Michelle, beautiful black woman. Uh, Intellectual, uh, graduate from Ivy League school, uh, was the first lady of the United States, man. Like, um, just all of our great black women, you know. So, Another question How do you balance your music with life? For as kids, job, spouse, I know a lot of people 
have desire to be an artist or rap artist, but they don't have that a regular job. Right. They are depending on just the art and craft. The, right. Yeah. Right. The right. stardom, the money. So how do you balance that with with life? Well, the best way you can. I mean, th there was a time that I've, I've done music solely by itself, but I mean, in the time period now where it's, you know, it's best to be independent. You know, I still have a nine to five. I still have a, a, a really good job. So, uh, how I balance is that you have to make time. You, I believe that you make time for things you really want to make time for. Right, work, so forty plus hours a week. Um, and then in between on breaks or after work or while in the gym or exercise, I'm writing records. Uh, and then studio weekends, nights, you know, and then trying to fit, you know, life and still go and pick up uh, the daughter from school, spend, still spend time with my wife. Uh, it's, it's a juggle, but, you know, you make time for what you do. So Good. Why, uh, what type of, of music do you listen to? Be a little bit of everything. It kind of just depends on how I'm feeling, right? So. Uh, I come from church, so I listen to gospel. Uh, uh, when I'm working out, I mean, I listen to Jeezy and Ross. Uh, there's times I want to feel like I'm a thug, so I'm going to put on Zero and Patton Hawk and DJ Screw, man. Uh, uh, then there's times I want to listen to country, so I put on Chris Stapleton. So I'm kind of all over the place, and then I listen to a lot of soca because I like the heavy percussion and drums. So. It just really kind of depends on the day. Man, my, my playlist is all over the place. Um, what is the best advice you've been given? It's a couple of pieces of advice that I take to heart and I always try to remember and do all the time. Um, first, to be patient. You know, you people, artists, or people who want to get into this business try to rush the, rush the process. Um, you can't rush the process. Don't take any shortcuts. Uh, develop your sound. Develop your craft. If you know you're not the best writer, go and find the best writer. Right? Pay the best writer. If you are great at producing, do that, and you put surround yourself with people who are like-minded and to create your sound. Uh, the second thing, create the polished sound. Uh, we live in a time where people, like I said, it's really easy to record in your home studio or record on your phone and put it out. But to be able to compete in a world that is instant, everything is like instant popcorn. Well, if you release something to the world, it's there, it's in the universe, right? right? So you want to make sure that you can compete with the things that's on the radio or that's on streaming services. So you always want to have Another thing is that the most talented don't always make it, right? True. It's, True. it's not about that. You got to out of work everybody. Because just like I do these type of records, there's about 60,000 other kids who sit at home all day who don't have to take care of a kid or a household or whatever, and they can just make music all day. So the hunger is out there. There's people out there that's going to do it. And, of course, the last thing is um, stay true to your sound, man. Like, if don't try to do what's in the new craze or the, the, the new phase of things or you want to sound like anybody else. Mm -hmm. If you have a distinct sound, you want a distinct sound, do that. Do that. Don't be your own person. Be an individual. And those are the things that um, I would tell anybody who wants to start to be able to do this. What's next for you? Oh, man. We got a lot of things. Uh, the next single um, that we're working on is called Hallelujah. Uh, then uh, I got my brothers. Uh, promoting my brothers. Go Firm. Uh, entertainment. Um, e E West, he has his projects out spinning right now. Uh, we got volume one and two and three is out if I'm not mistaken, um, or if it's three or it's, it's coming. Uh, 2020, it, I have about four records, four singles that'll be being promoted. Uh, Europe uh, next October, uh, a couple of tour dates in in uh, on the West Coast. So a lot of things coming up in 2020. Oh, man, y'all just go out and uh, check out Amazing, man. Amazing is it's an amazing record. If you like singing, you like 5 point, 10 point, 11,000 part harmonies, you're going to hear a lot of it in there. If you like traditional R&B, 
And uh, you want to dance a little bit, go check out the record. It's on our streaming platform. So what is your, e okay. um, your Instagram? Uh, it's Diego underscore Brown Jr. Because I'm a junior. Yay, yay. Um, that is my IG. You can find me on Facebook. Facebook same thing. Uh, Diego Brown. Twitter. Uh, it's, it's Beefy Baby. Okay. Uh, look for me on Twitter. I'm on I'm on uh, all social media. You, you will see me. You will see the, uh, the cover amazing as well. And your email address? It's dancemusicdb at gmail.com. Also, you can find me on uh, uh, Carrillo Dance Music Label website at carrillodancemusic.com. Uh, take a look at the website. Like I said, download, stream, and support amazing. Ugh. That's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs>